where will our food come from for the next 50 years? We think 85% of it will come from the land that's now under cultivation by the further application of high yield technology, not just a high ver The high yielding variety doesn't mean much if you don't create the cultural conditions so that it can express its true potential yield uh, potential. You can't eat potential. You got to change it to production. And uh, that means applying all of the, these different disciplines in a package approach and at the right time getting the economic policies changed on availability of production inputs, on credit for the little farmers. Remember that most of these farmers are three to five acre farm, uh, farmers in much of India and they have no money, but you have to get the cash so that they can buy the fertilizer before planting, pay for it at harvest, and that they are paid something approaching the international price for wheat at the harvest. Not 60%, which was the case in India and Pakistan and in China uh, when there was hunger, because always the story is, we have so many hungry poor people, we have to keep the price of the grain low, so low that they can't adopt the new technology. 